All right, so I have a variety of different ways to adapt books in order to support page turning. In this book, in this model, I have a bunch of different ways. I wouldn't recommend doing all of these different ways in one book. Um, that would be very confusing. I would trial, if you like one of these, I would trial them, see which one works best, and then use one, maybe two of these ways um, to adapt the book to support page turning. And actually some of them, what we'll get to, I recommend using um, at the same time. So let's start. The first page here, I have punched a hole through uh, the board book, which actually is not that hard in any of the board books that I've tried. They're not, um, if they're not super thick, it's easy to use just a standard hole puncher. And I used a pipe cleaner to just go through and make a little loop here. And now these loops can be made to whatever size you need. And this is one of the page turners that I would recommend if you went with this one to uh, do them in, in order going down as you turn the page. So don't have all of them lined up together. That would be challenging to grab. Put one here, the next one here, the next one here, the next one here, depending on um, how many pages you have, just like in a binder when you have those tabs. So this um, really helps with those kids that have a lateral pinch. This, just like I explained, is a similar concept. Um, this is just like the tabs in a notebook too. But what I did here was I took a clear packaging tape and I, again, um, I like using packaging tape because it's clear, unlike duct tape that you can't see through. Um, this you can see through to the page. It doesn't block any of the words or images. And then I just used cardstock to put on the inside. So I flapped it over here. Um, and with this, you can do either red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple in an order or put numbers. Something fun that, something fun to do is to maybe write the student's name. Um, going down in order so they know when they look off to the side what comes next. Um, it might not be as obvious to some students. And again, this um, makes page turning easier if you have um, a difficult time with that. So this one, I'm gonna turn it up so you can see it. I've hot glued um, sponges, just cheap sponges, in between the two pages here. So when you go to turn it, you're not having to use so much a pinch, it's just flap it open just like that. Here I have, I put some beads on this just to make it a little bit fun. Um, I've punched a hole in the top and the bottom and I've made a big loop here. So this really will help with your students that have maybe a hook grasp to turn. And this, um, I, it might be hard to for you to kind of visually see it, but I would recommend this one again, just like the tabs going down, maybe having a series of loops getting smaller on each page, um, just so then when you're scooping and turning, you're not um, grabbing all the pages at once, maybe you're just slowly going in towards. So kind of like a rainbow effect, the first page would be the longest, then smaller, then smaller. And you could even use a uh, rainbow colored or I'm sorry, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, you know, going down the rainbow. This one is just a popsicle stick and I cut it so it's a little bit shorter. Now this one you have to be careful because it will block some pages, um, the images or the words. And again, that's why I cut it to make it a little bit smaller. Um, and I would recommend too putting it on the page that you're turning into because if you connect it here, just uh, the leverage might lift it off more. It's more, uh, it's better able to stay if you do it this way. And this again, um, try to do it so it's going down so they're not all on top of each other. This right here, I put the Velcro in. I stuck a bead in here too, and I did my bead pink so you could just see it. I would recommend using a clear bead. And this helps keep it open a little bit. So again, just like with the sponge, it's lifted, but with the added Velcro, it will hold the pages down. So if you have a problem with flipping through really fast, um, that will help prevent that. And again, when you lift it up and put it on the next one, it will Velcro down and leave your book open. Here, um, I have a subtle lift. And so if you have a, or if the student's having a difficult time turning the pages and has again that lateral pinch, I just put it on the inside here um, and it, I used clear, it would be good if you put 
some cardstock or colored paper in there to see it. But if you have a student that knows where um, the assist is gonna be every time, it's not really necessary because um, you can feel it and turn the page really easily. So keeping with that more subtle uh, page turning assist, I put them in um, some pa a paper book here so you can see how it works with that. And again, it's very subtle right there. And so I put it, um, I didn't put any colored paper on, again, to keep it subtle. Um, for students, you know, that don't want to um, have it obvious that they're using these modifications and you can pinch and, whoops, <laughs> pinch and turn. Again, I put it in the same spot every time, pinch and turn. On this page, I put it in the bottom and it might be a game of trying to figure out where is the best placement for something like this. You know, it, it does change the way in which the pages are turned depending on where you put it. This one's on the top, so it's a pull down and turn. I made this adaptive page turner just at home. It's made out of a pencil, pipe cleaner, and then some hot glue at the top. Um, anything you have that has sort of a resistance will work on the top. I didn't have any shelving liner at home when I was making this, but um, shelving liner works really well. Or like uh, no skid. Um, the circles that you put underneath your chair, anything that sort of has that resistance but isn't too sticky, like tape, um, would stick to pages too much. So this, I just kind of made it a universal grasp here. This, um, because it's the hot glue and it has that resistance, can be used to turn the pages of paper books too.